What's going on guys? It's your boy Crypto Michael here coming to you today with an update video on this little beauty right here behind me as uh, you may see I have if you've seen on my last Saturday night live stream at late nights in the mine on decentralized TV with Nemesis <clears throat> I've gotten my my 1070 back from RMA but it wasn't a 1070 it's actually a 1080 uh, the EVGA 1080 blower so I mean it's an upgrade model wise I'm not a fan of blowers um, but this isn't too bad um, what I really love about it is it has one single a pin um, so that's always nice you know most 1080s have two uh, and require two pins usually an eight and a six I know TIs sometimes require two eights so that's pretty cool, um, but before we get too far into it, guys. So, guys. As you may see here, uh, I should have the video up in the screen right over here. Um, hopefully, if all works out right, uh, trying something new. So just be warned. Um, but I got my ten the 1080 back, so I have taken the 1660 off of the test bench um, permanent. It was kind of test bench but it ended up being kind of permanently there because it was like the only way I could get it to work um, for the time being so it's now off and it's gonna get a little bit of love uh, so you'll see some cool stuff about that I'm just gonna blow I'm really just gonna blow it off and probably swap these two back out um, I might not keep this I'm not since I'm not really a fan of blowers and uh, in my current setup it would run really hot and I just I would rather not put myself in that situation um, so but I might keep it I don't know we'll see how it works out and once I get it into the hive rig then we will know for sure how it'll act and how everything but here it's on Windows uh, so we'll just kind of see how that goes uh, we're gonna do a little bit of testing on it um, I got a little bit a few overclocks wrote up here um, and whatnot so we'll test all those out so here we go so we are running right now as stock uh, just completely stock I have the fan up at 92% um, using GPU tweaker 2 right now kinda of just testing it out to see what it's gonna go at um, so right now the boost clock is sitting at 1733 uh, if I'm not mistaken Yeah, I'm running at 28 degrees Celsius at just idle, as well as 12 watts, uh, and we're sitting at 100% power, uh, no undervolting, no nothing. Uh, we're just gonna start shoot straight for Crypto Dredge, and let's go ahead and hit in this that's running up real quick we're gonna test out um the rest of these uh we're gonna test out nim running on ice mining and slush pool uh and hit try to hit on raven as well as z coin and see what these hash rates will come out to uh i have a little bit of overclocking that i've done for the vert coin uh algorithm so we'll test that out and whatnot and see how that goes um, but you know, without further ado, guys, let's get back into this. And so, right here, guys, we are sitting straight off at stock. Oops. Yeah, see, we're all stock, and we are hitting at 51 mega hashes straight out of the box. I don't think that's I don't think it's ramped up yet because I'm pretty sure that this card hits higher than that. Um, stock right now we're pulling 174 watts, so 
kind of a really big on the wattage there uh, at 180 according to uh, GPU-Z just pulling from the sensors which is you know a lot in my opinion um, but we haven't ramped up anything we haven't uh, took in any power away from it which I will um, for the best overclock that I've found so far um, for this and you know, see we're sitting at 51 running at 62 degrees fans at 92 percent 100 and called 178 watts still sitting at 51.25 mega hash so we'll stop that and what I actually got it to best work out for me was I put 230 on the uh, on the boost clock as well as negative 510 on the memory um, I ramped the fan up to 97 just to keep it cool but not at 100% because it whines not really whines it has like that tone and I've drawn the power down to 78% um, on this and we will test out a little bit more here for some reason this thing is hitting awfully low so this overclock I was at because it's stock out overclock I was hitting at like 56 mega ashes so I don't know what's there's something else going on, but I'm not sure what. Hmm. This is intriguing. Because it stopped last time I was pulling 56.5 at 180 watts um, and then at the good overclock setting which is one right here um, running about 140 ish watts and running 55.8 like uh, mega hashes per second on vert which is really good um, it puts you at a really good efficiency for this card as well as it doesn't really run too hot um, like right now it's running at 56 degrees Celsius, uh, which is pretty good. Um, even though it's running at 97% on the fan, still really good. Uh, I really don't know why it's... Very curious of why it's acting like this. So hopefully this all works out, uh, especially here uh, showing on the screen and whatnot, because I can't see it yet, but I will later, uh, hopefully. Fingers crossed, guys. So you're gonna let it run for a second. Um, so what I originally had was a 1070 uh, EVGA Black Force uh, or Black Edition Super Clock 1070. Nothing crazy special, um, but you know it did put down like 40, 45 mega hashes on vert um, before it went out. Um, I know that my 1660 Ti puts down 48 mega hashes on vert, putting down like 120 to 130 watts, um, under volted the right way, which is really good. Um, I really enjoy that. Um, so, but this card hits, you know, well above that, but it drinks a little bit more power. Um, 
so you know it theoretically it's better <laughs> you know in all in all sense of you know reality and all that um for whatever reason so we're gonna see we're gonna try to run raven see what it does oh hold on I gotta remove because that overclock will not work on raven very well So we'll see. We'll see how this works on Raven. Uh, let's see what we get here, because something's something's going a little strange, but I'm not really sure what it is. Because <clears throat> normally it's getting a higher hash rate than this. Uh, and I know it was. Right before I started this video, it was getting a really good hash rate on uh, with the 210 on the on the core, with the negative 510 on the memory, as well as the 78% on the power, and uh, or no, 230 on the core at 78% power. Pulling about 140-ish watts, and I was pulling like 55.5.6. Uh, and that was really that was like at the best that I could get it at uh, which is really good uh, in all things considered so right now we are pulling out 19.64 mega hashes which seems really low huh I don't know, maybe it's because I'm recording video on the computer, but yeah, could be possible. But I'm pretty sure that's not the issue, because I was doing this earlier, and this was working. I wasn't recording video, though, of course, so uh, yeah, that is a bit strange. So anyway, while it's kind of waiting here, so guys, please like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so every time I go live or have a video for you guys, it you get notified. Um, so I'm gonna look more into this and I'm gonna do some more testing, and I will make either another video of detailed miners before I unplug this card and move it to the new rig, or I sell it. Um, so stay tuned for that guys i'm kind of interested in why this hash rate is getting a little weird uh because normally it was running like 25 plus mega hashes on raven when i was testing it last night uh, to make sure it worked and yeah it's a little interesting so i'm gonna look into this guys please like subscribe hit the notification uh, be sure to go to CryptoMichaelDesigns.com. Hit the hit up there. You know, buy some awesome swag like this hat right here. Um, you know, and soon I should have some other stuff on there for sale. I'm testing out some other options, and um, you know, every little bit helps, guys. Um, you know, I do have uh, the GoFundMe link. It'll be down in the description below. Um, a lot of great people, a lot of awesome yinizens and yin family members. Uh, that are all up in there on the island. We have all, not we, but they have all donated quite a bit to help me continue doing what I'm doing as well as taking care of my family in the best way that I can possible. So, without further ado, guys, I will catch y'all next time. Keep them hash rates going, and later. <laughs>